Hey there, I'm going to show you a few things about Team Developer 6.3. Let me start the new Team Developer 6.3 and load the gallery control application that I've prepared for you. This application, let me run it, demos the new gallery control in a ribbon bar of Team Developer applications. The gallery control is a nice way of displaying multiple choices to a user using uh, images. So this gallery control here, if you expand it, contains 12 images. Team Developer displays these images here and you can use uh, different size images if you want. These are 32 by 32 uh, pixels. You can use any size and we will display them in the size you provide. You see this uh, gallery control here that um, displays its first elements inside the ribbon bar itself. And then there's another gallery control, which is a drop-down gallery, which um, opens when you click on that uh, drop-down gallery button here. And again, you see the uh, available images, the available choices. You can click on any of these choices and then um, execute the code you want to have executed. So that works for this guy here. If you click on any of these, um, you notice this um, it will be notified here in the uh, list box. And if you click on the drop-down gallery items, um, you can execute code as well. Additionally, in the drop-down gallery, you have the option to uh, cascade drop-down galleries. So you have a drop-down gallery here, plus another one here. And if you click on an item in this one here, you see that you get notified as well. So you can execute code for that as well. And then you also have these uh, menu items that can show up below a gallery control. So all the things that you kind of have seen in Microsoft Office products. Now let's look at the coding that's behind this ribbon bar. First, let me show you the um, design of the ribbon bar. So you have that form window here that, here that contains a ribbon bar. And this ribbon bar at the top level has a one rim tab. Your application likely has more than one rim tab, but this one for demo purposes has one. Now below the rim tab, you have ribbon groups and the first group is the colors group and the second group is an extended colors group and the first group um, contains the gallery control that displays its first elements inside the ribbon bar so you see that gallery control defined here and below the gallery control you have several gallery items defined and each of these gallery items has some ha can have code behind them and in this case we just puts a notification into the list box here. And that's true for all of these um, gallery items. So this is the um, gallery item in the rim bar. And there's, and there's another rim group here, which contains the drop down gallery, which is, has a name drop one. If you look into this, the details of the drop one thing here, you see they have, it contains a lot of gallery items again. Each of the gallery items has ribbon actions and these are being executed when that item is clicked. Now, looking down first, you see here's the um, cascaded gallery item number two. So you, this one drops down and from the um, menu, you can drop down this one here as well, which co again contains 12 gallery items and each of them triggers some actions. And if you put buttons into the drop down gallery, then these will show up as menu items like you've seen before. And these, of course, have ribbon actions again. And the only thing I do is put a notification into the uh, list box. So let's just run this again. And you see how the, how the definition and the layout corresponds. So here's the gallery. Click on these guys. The drop down gallery. You can click on all these guys. Um, you have the Cascading gallery, the cascading drop down gallery actually. You can click on these guys here. And then you have these menu items, which are gallery buttons. So, this was a quick overview of the new capabilities of the TD 6.3 gallery controls. Check back soon for more info on Team Developer 6.3.